In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down my highest kill solo arena win this season. I was just running through players, so if you struggle to end fights in arena, this video should help you out. Let's hop right into it. I'm landing at faulty splits because this spot is usually pretty hot. I go for a quick pickaxe kill here. I don't usually do this, but it looked free. I do always try to get a quick kill off spawn at a hot drop because you get siphon mats and siphon health, which puts you at an advantage against everybody else there. So I have pretty good mats and I'm ready to push almost immediately. And that's when I take a fight against this guy here. I go for the cone right away and then I wait for him to make an edit on this ramp. A lot of times they'll try to flip the ramp and jump in your face. You you can see everything I'm doing, I'm kind of waiting for the enemy to make a move. The reason I play like this off spawn is because they don't have many mats, so a lot of times they're going to make impulsive plays. Right at the end here, I see an opportunity to jump in and claim the wall in front of him. I jump, and while I hit the floor, I swing my pickaxe. If he was holding that floor, I'd go right through it. But my goal was to get that wall, I get it, and I make an unoptimal edit here. You know, he could have shot me, but it worked out. Of course, at a hot spot like this, I immediately get pushed again. A lot of times when a third party pushes up, they're going to assume you're weak. So I applied immediate pressure to this guy by mantling up in his face. I figured showing immediate pressure back would catch him off guard, and it kind of did. What I did here was flip my ramp while hugging the back of my box, and you can see that makes the ramp phased and I can shoot through it. He managed to shoot me there, but I still got the kill. All in all, I wanted to end that fight fast because I didn't have many mats, so I got right up in his face. Now right here I get shot and I'm being pushed in a really awkward spot with these railings, so I make space for myself. Anytime I feel like I'm in an awkward place, I just make a few boxes. Because I owned all this space, this guy when he drops down is just a sitting duck. I move from box to box, applying pressure from two different angles. I'm never letting him know my next move. After getting the initial shot, my first priority was to get him boxed. And I managed to do that, but I hear him breaking out the back, so I try to race and get that wall before he can escape. But he gets out, and I just spray through with my SMG, because he's weak. I went for that quick jump in play, because another third party was approaching. As soon as I get the kill, I don't worry about getting the mats, I worry about getting space. If there's one thing you need to know, a third party is always going to try to jump in, so you want to give yourself space as quick as possible. Because this third party just jumps in, I immediately have him boxed. The important thing is, don't get in the box with him. I got to the outside and then just set up peaks from there and got a free kill. Now that was the last player off spawn and I rotate into the mid game. With every mid game fight, I try to start with a health advantage. So I get a couple shots here and I immediately push up. While I'm pushing up, I'm making sure that I block my front angle because I don't want him to get a health advantage back on me. I'm trying to get up close to him while saving my HP. He boxes up and he's only in one box, so I immediately start applying pressure. I'm always prepared for the enemy to jump at me. As soon as I don't get the cone, I build a wall because I assume he could double edit up at me. Sure enough, by building the wall, I managed to get myself the kill here. He tried to jump me, I block him with the wall, and then he's like, oh shoot, what do I do next? And I just edit, get the kill. Easy. In the next fight though, the enemy gets the advantage on me. This is why having splashes is so crucial because I could just get max really quickly. And then I immediately apply pressure back. Right here at this point in the fight, I see he's on the left side of the box, which is why I edit out left and place that wall. I went for a peak shot right away, but while I'm taking the shot, I'm backing up. I don't want to get in a 50-50. If you want to get consistent in arena, you need to play cautious just like that. But once I saw I didn't get hit and I hit him a bunch, I immediately push forward again and get the kill. This guy was just walking forward. I don't know what he was doing. Next fight, I see this guy in the rotate and he was whited. So you know I'm already pushing up to that so fast. In the hammer meta, you always got to be ready for them to hammer away. So I just had my gun out and got the kill. This next fight starts out super awkward. I was stuck in this tree here and didn't really want to build up because my visibility was terrible in the tree. So I back up and take a new approach. I wait for the enemy to push up and that's when I counter and take height over him. I went for an edit course play that didn't work and he got the high ground. You can see when I'm pushing up here, I don't do anything that fancy. You don't need to be an absolute demon to win these fights. I go for a side jump here and make sure I claim that wall a layer up. By getting that wall, I was able to edit through and box the opponent. He managed to drop down, but I saw he didn't have his sidewall, so I immediately go for that low ground sidewall. As soon as I get the wall, I see him trying to escape the box, so I place the wall in the box that he's escaping to, and I get the kill here. It was a little bit close, but because I got that big pump shot on him, I just took the bloom fight for the kill. I knew I was going to win it. This next fight is literally like 50% of the players in arena. So I'm pushing up to this guy, I do a little edit course just because I'm feeling fancy, but eventually I get on his 
wall. I apply pressure and put a ramp in his box. As soon as I put the ramp in, I just go off to the side and wait for him to edit on me. He doesn't edit on me the first time, but you can see I'm literally just on his wall trying to get him to edit on me. Pulling out my pickaxe, then my shotgun, smacking his wall a bit, and eventually he just edits straight towards me and I get the kill. If an enemy is playing in his boxes this much, keep the pressure on and just wait for him to make a mistake. Unless you can tell he's just an absolute demon, then play a bit more careful. This next fight was a choke. I started the fight with the health advantage, but right here I tried to place a ramp in his box and I take a lot of damage because of that. It was really just a 50-50, which is the one thing you want to avoid in arena. Immediately after that, I get pushed and now I'm at a health disadvantage. I messed up my reset on the wall, so I'm literally one HP. When I get this weak, I create boxes. I always make sure I'm blocking the angle that the enemy is at first. I can't let a single bullet slip through, so my main goal is to block the enemy, but I need to block all my other angles as well because of third parties. While I'm making these boxes, every time the enemy's at a wall, I go for a pre-fire. I'm trying to get a little damage dealt back so that I can heal up. I hear him breaking the slurp truck at this point, and I'm like, okay, yeah, the fight's mine now. I got all that health back really quickly, or so I thought. Dude smacked me so hard once again. And of course he did so much damage, he's just psychoing. So I go back to my strat of making boxes and pre-firing and I managed to get him with a pre-fire almost immediately. In the next fight, I'm pressuring the opponent's tops here. I'm trying to get the enemy to edit on me, just like in earlier fights. Instead he edits right under me. So I just drop down, get the wall he was running towards. And I actually almost lose this cause my pump did no damage. This next fight, I was pressuring this floor from behind a right hand peak. In case he edits on me, I can duck behind that. But then he just walked into the floor. I don't know what that was. This fight was pretty cheeky. If you guys have watched some of my fighting tutorials, you know of this peak called the Martas peak, where you edit the back tile of a floor and place a ramp and then jump through it. I use this peak to pressure walls sometimes like I do in this clip. As soon as I get the wall, I edit through and do a mongrel and just body him. The next fight, this guy was literally just sitting in a one by one, so I took his wall and got the kill. If you're that player, never sit in a one by one. If you're getting pushed, always make space. I never just try to hold my wall, I always make space instead, even though I'm zero ping. So if you're a high ping player and always complain about zero ping players taking your walls, don't be that guy. Make one more box so you have room to move. After getting this next kill, there's only two more players. I saw this guy had just finished fighting in the storm, so I kind of tried to get an angle to hold him in the storm, but there were so many builds in the way. I do get some damage dealt, and I immediately initiate the build fight. I was kind of trying to get fancy at this point in the game, not gonna lie. In this type of situation, usually you're gonna wanna try to go for either a chop out play or try to hammer up into his box and drop him to low ground. But I was having fun with it and wasn't really worried about us getting chopped out, so I kept it going until this point in the fight right here. He started getting sprayed from the opposite side from the last player, so I just kept pressure on this side. He was pinched between two players and I got the free kill. If you're doing that though, you need to be careful because he could have tried to jump me, but it was a little bit awkward for him and I knew he was weak. And then the last fight was kind of just a free kill. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop video ideas down below that you want to see and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.